One of the first men to explore nature's tiny realm was John Dalton, an English chemist. This was early in the 19th century. It was he who revived the idea of the atom. I believe Democritus was right. All things are made of atoms. Take copper, for instance. My drawings show how the atoms group together. They are like little, hard, indestructible balls, with some unknown force acting between them. When the atoms pack together, layer upon layer, millions upon millions, then they build a tiny crystal. And when the crystals combine, they form the copper metal we are so familiar with. And there are also atoms for silver and gold. There are different kinds of atoms everywhere. Atoms for sulfur in a match. Atoms for carbon in every ordinary pencil. Atoms for mercury in a thermometer. A different kind of atom for each element. But most of nature's creations are mixtures. This glass is a mixture of different kinds of atoms. The wood here, another. This book is composed of more mixtures than I could name. 